What is up everybody? Stud City here and I'm going to do an exciting video because we have the summer 2021 Ninjago sets. So we're just going to do a short video and get through them on every one that's coming out. Like the first one right here is 71755 Temple of the Endless Sea. This set has some great minifigs guys and overall looks so good. I'll probably have to get this one unfortunately for my bank account because uh, I'm in love with it and I'm really enjoying season 15 of Ninjago. I watched it with my girlfriend and we absolutely absolutely loved it. Additionally, in the summer 2021 wave, of course, we have to get the rest of the golden figs. So in this set right here, you're going to be getting golden Zane, and this is the ultrasonic Raider. Fantastic looking set, guys. I'm really enjoying that one. Uh, and then another one we have for the golden Nia is the fire dragon attack. Uh, these sets are both from season one and are following the legacy line. With that being said, guys, they also incorporated two Junior 4 Plus sets. Uh, this one right here, 71734, is Kai's Blade Cycle. I believe they need to start steering away from the 4 Plus sets, but uh, I guess we're getting them in this wave. And then here's another one, Final Night of Destiny's Bounty. Uh, it's a really cool looking set, I guess, but for, four, for the 4 Plus Junior sets, I'm kind of steering away from those. Following the Season 15 trend, we have the Water Dragon Oh my gosh, is this a set I have to pick up? This dragon looks absolutely spectacular, as well as all the minifigs. I just can't get over all the snake minifigs. Uh, I'm going to be going after these because they look so good, in my opinion. I want to hear your thoughts. And that Nia all watered up right there, that is something legendary, right? If you guys like that one and are going after that set, let me know in the comments below. For all of you mech fans, we're getting Lloyd's Hydro Mech. I know when me and my girlfriend were watching the season 15, uh, my girlfriend pointed out, she said, oh, how come Lloyd always finds a mech? <laughs> but this one, it looks great, guys. Uh, I know we've seen some leaks of this one prior in the maybe like a month ago, but definitely a fantastic looking set. And I hope it's fairly cheap because I definitely want to get it uh, just to have it. Here we have set 71752. Uh, the ninja subspeeder with some great minifigs guys you get uh you know scuba diving cole and jay and um, two more snakes and of course uh the speeder itself which i think is an overall really cool build and definitely will be really cool on display but again all the minifigs you get the amulet in this one i think it's a great set you know uh the legos doing a really good job marketing these i love the box art big big fan of ninjago guys and the last set in the 2021 summer wave is the Hydro Bounty set number 71756 with a whole boatload of minifigs as well as an insane looking Hydro Bounty. Wow, Lego, props to you hitting that. You even incorporated a little submarine on the side build there. Oh my God, I love this. And you also get uh, the Prince uh, Kumar or Calamari, as uh, Neil would like to say in the show. Uh, definitely really cool on his chariot there. That is something. What a fantastic looking set, guys. This this is another one. Uh, there is no questions asked. I will be picking this up because that thing is absolutely beautiful. Very stoked for this, guys. I'm so excited for this summer 2020 wave. Uh, I want to hear in the comments, will you be picking up any of these sets, if not all of them? Uh, I know I will be doing my part and trying to get all of them because I am a big fan of season 15 and I do not want to miss out on some of these sets, guys. Uh, but basically, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. So if you enjoyed it, you know, make sure to give a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Stud City out.